guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make Starbucks pumpkin bread, but before we get started, be sure and hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any upcoming videos. So, like I said, today we're going to make Starbucks pumpkin bread, and it's called an easy bread because dry ingredients go in one bowl, wet ingredients go in another bowl, and you mix them together, and you have a delicious pumpkin bread. If you've never had Starbucks, go try it, but then you can make your own at home. Or don't go try it and just make your own at home. Okay, so I'm going to start by getting the wet ingredients in my mixer. So the wet ingredients are two eggs, two eggs, a can of pumpkin, And half a teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla. Okay. Now that can sit, and we're going to put our dry ingredients are a cup and a half of flour. And then we need a half a cup. Okay, so a cup and a half of flour. We need one cup of sugar. Whoops. Um, one. So a cup of sugar, and I use Splenda, like I said before, because my husband's diabetic. And Splenda, you you do like one cup for one cup. You do Splenda is equal, so one cup of sugar equals one cup of Splenda. Sometimes. The sweetener, if you use a different one, is less or more. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'll take the lid off. Okay, a teaspoon of cinnamon. So far, that's sugar, flour, and cinnamon. A teaspoon of allspice. I got brand new allspice. Watch your spices, they do go bad and they just lose their, you know, their flavor. And I know, you know, you may use them once a year. So do check before you start baking to make sure, you know, the smell is still there. Okay, a teaspoon of allspice. Gosh, that smells good. I wish you could smell that. And then... Three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. And that is it, so I'm just going to whisk it all together. Okay, 
there it is, all whisked together. There's our wet ingredients. I'm going to get the mixer going. Oops, not plugged in. Okay, once that's lightly mixed, I'm going to start adding the dry mixture. Oops, sorry. Add it from this side. Add a little bit at a time. Okay. And then I'm going to start it. I'm going to add in the rest. And there we go. It's perfect. Okay, in my bread pan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some butter and just go all around the edges and in the corners and just really coat it good so it comes out. It'll have a nice crust on it, but it'll be super moist and soft in the middle. Okay, and then when you get that all done, you take the okay, you pull your mixer out and just get all the off the paddle, and then just turn this. And turn your bone and then just out like that. In there and just. And it's like a bread. Remember, it's not a cake. It's not real flowy. It's going to be, you know, a dough. And then when you bake, always bake on another cookie sheet if you think there's a chance that it could bubble out. Okay. Now I'm just going to pop this in the oven at 350 for 70 minutes. And now we will clean up all of our messes. Okay, so we're going to do our dishes. So we're just going to put up all of our spices and just get everything nice and tidy. And I'll uh, link the, not link, I'll put the recipe below, but this is supposed to taste just like Starbucks pumpkin bread. So I hope everybody enjoys it. Okay, so we got everything clean, and we'll be back as soon as this is ready to come out of the oven. See you then. Bye. Hey guys, we're back, and it's time to come out of the oven. It smells ready. Looks delicious. I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to check it with my... And it is done. So now it's just got to cool. I'm going to get my cooling rack. I'm going to put my 
hot pads under my curling rack so it doesn't burn my cabinet. And it'll sit like this for 15 minutes. I wish you could smell it. It smells absolutely delicious. Okay guys, we're back and it's had time to cool so I'm going to run my knife around it and then... <gasps> Look at that. It just stuck a little bit but overall very pretty. Oh, and it's moist, too. Mmm. It's good. It's very moist. Tastes like the one from Starbucks, guys. So be sure and check out this recipe. So you'll cut it. Once it cools the rest of the way, you'll put it on your plate. And you'll cut it an inch thick. And with just plain like this, you could put a frosting if you wanted to, butter, however you want it. But it is good. So this is our star no, this is our Starbucks pumpkin bread. And I hope you make it. Let me know down below in the comments what you think and send me a picture if you make it. Take care and talk to you later.